Network Concept A network is a connection. It could be a connection of roads, like a road network, or a social network between different people. We come across many other networks in our daily lives too, like mobile network, railway network, or cable TV network. Another important network that we need to know about is a computer network. Imagine in an office there are many computers which store data and the employees in that office want to share their bills, letters or documents with each other. It is very tedious for them to transfer data using pen drive or CD. It's also possible that computer systems are placed in various rooms and on different floors or the office has branches in different cities. In this scenario, if it is a standalone computer not connected to a network, then manually the data will be transferred through pen drive or CDs or DVDs, which is time consuming and a costly task. However, if computers are connected to each other, the data can be shared easily among all. The interconnection of computers is known as networking of computers. A computer network is a set of computers and various devices connected together either via a cable or wireless medium for the purpose of sharing data and resources. These shared resources can be data files, any application software, devices like printers, modems, etc. There are several advantages of computer networking. Some of them are sharing of hardware. Large printers and storage media are very expensive. Network shares such resources and reduces the operational and maintenance cost. Sharing of software. All the required software can be installed on the main server centrally. All the connected users can access it when required. It saves the cost of licensing on each machine. Fast and efficient communication Networking offers a fast and reliable communication channel among the users. People can communicate efficiently via messages, chat rooms, video conferencing, video calls, etc. Security as the server of the organization is fully secured against unauthorized access, the relevant data and files are fully protected and only accessible to authorized users. Reducing Redundancy Since people share the same data over a network by storing it centrally, it reduces the redundancy or duplication of data on many computers. Saving time and cost. Sharing of data and information through network saves both time as well as cost of paper. Efficiency. Deletion, modification or upgradation of software or data at a single point brings more efficiency and effectiveness into a working system. Network components. Every network includes these components to form a computer network. Server It is a powerful computer or a set of computers with high speed and great processing capability. A server can link many electronic devices together and provide important network services to private and public users. Client Client is a computer or device which uses the network to access any service from the server. A client is also called a node. Network Interface Card or NIC. It is a hardware component which connects a computer to a network. It also provides a unique physical address to each computer which is connected to the network known as NAC which stands for Media Access Control Address. There are two types of NICs, Wired NIC and Wireless NIC. Medium of Connection 
the interconnection between individual devices can be established in two ways through wires or cables which connect devices using ports and connectors through wireless mediums like Wi-Fi, radio waves, microwaves, Bluetooth, infrared, X-rays, etc. Ethernet twisted pair is the most commonly and widely used wire in local area networks. It has improved in terms of speed of a gigabit per second. Coaxial cable, also known as coax, started being induced in around 1920s in the telephony networks. It contains a copper wire and a cable. Optical fibre is a flexible and transparent strand of glass which is capable of transmitting light between two ends of the fibre. It uses light pulses instead of electrical pulses for information transmission. Switch and Router When a network has more than two computers, then we need a central point of connection through which all the computers are connected on a network. In wired networking, this function is performed by switch and in wireless networking, routers are used to transmit radio signals. Modem is the short form of modulator-demodulator. It modulates the digital data into a telephone-compatible analog signal at sender's side and demodulates the analog signal back into digital signal at receiver's side. In simple words, we can say modem is used to connect computer via telephone lines. Types of networks A computer network can be inside a room, a building, across cities, countries or even continents. Depending upon the area covered or geographical boundaries, networks are of different categories. Personal Area Network or PAN PAN generally covers a range within 10 meters organized around an individual person. It can be created via cables, Bluetooth or infrared rays. When you connect your laptop, printer, mobile phone or iPod in your home, you are creating a PAN. Personal area networks created by using Bluetooth are also sometimes called PicoNets. Local Area Network or LAN LAN is used when two or more computers are connected within a small area like a room, building, house or a campus. LAN is a low-cost, high-speed and secured network. LAN can cover an area within 10 kilometers. LAN can be wired or wireless. Computers connected in your school lab or in a business house are examples of LAN. Metropolitan Area Network or MAN MAN is a computer network in a geographic area larger than LAN, generally spread in a city. The maximum range of MAN can be 50 kilometers. It is usually formed by interconnecting a number of LANs and individual computers. The most common example is our cable television network. Since it covers an entire city, it is a type of MAN. Offices of a company spread in an entire city are connected together this way. Wide Area Network or WAN A WAN spans over a large geographical area, often a country or a continent. It requires public telecommunication media such as telephone system, optic fiber cables or a satellite. Internet is an example of WAN which is the largest WAN in the world. Another example of WAN is a multinational company having offices in almost all the countries. Network Topology the pattern or way of arranging computers and other peripheral devices to form a network is known as network topology. Network topology can be of different types. Bus topology or linear topology. In this topology, each node is attached directly to a central cable which is the common communication medium for all the attached nodes. Ring topology. 
In ring topology, the devices are connected to each other in a circular shape forming a loop. Each node is connected to only two other nodes, one on each side of the node. Star topology. In star topology, each node is connected to a central node directly by a single path. Network architecture. There are several ways in which a computer network can be designed. Network architecture refers to how computers are organized in a systematic way and how the tasks are allocated between these computers. There are two types of architecture which are widely used. Client-server architecture. In this architecture, computers connected to the network are called clients. The clients send the request and the requests are processed by the server. The other type is peer-to-peer -peer architecture. This architecture doesn't have a server. Each computer on the network has equal status, capabilities and responsibilities. They can communicate with all others and have a role in managing the whole network. These small networks are simple and easy to set up, but they do not have powerful features as available in client-server networks. Accessing a file from a shared drive. Access to a file from a remote computer is only possible if both the clients or nodes are connected to a network. Follow these steps to access a remote file in Windows 7. First, go to Desktop and double-click on the Network icon. In the View pane, a list of connected devices will appear. Double-click on the device you are looking for. Now, a list of shared resources will be displayed. Double-click on Required Resource and you will get its contents in the View pane. A list of files and folders will appear. To open any file, double-click on it. If you want to copy this file, right-click on it and choose Copy option. Next, right-click on Desktop and select Paste. The file will be pasted on the desktop. Usually, networks can be accessed only by the authorized users, but there is always a threat of intrusion and theft of data without permission or by an unauthorized person. To protect a network from security attacks, organizations generally take security measures. Some of the security measures are Login and Password all authorized users are given a login ID and password by a network manager or administrator for authentication purposes. Access levels. Different rights and privileges are given to different users. Some users may be able to use a few applications and devices, whereas others can use more applications and devices or network. Encryption. Encryption is the process of changing data into an unreadable and non-understandable code. To make it readable again, the key is used to unscramble the file and decrypt it. Firewall A firewall is a software or hardware tool that protects a server, a network or an individual computer from attacks by unauthorized users. It protects both the inflow and outflow of data and information.